I'm going to show you how to make this bar graph in SPSS. You'll notice the data is going to be completely different. This is in table format, how many vanilla, chocolate, etc., etc. But you can't label it like that in SPSS. It has to look like this. Okay? Where it's a categorical variable. And you have to identify which numbers represent which flavors. So we, we went ahead and labeled them accordingly. One means vanilla, two is chocolate, three is strawberry, four is pistachio, five is peach, and six is tutti frutti. So there's more than one way to make a bar graph. The fastest way is go to graphs. We can go to chart builder first. And you want a bar graph, you simply drag that up there. Boom. And then you put your variable in to the x-axis. And you're done. Okay, there's the first way. Let's get it up there, you. There is a simple bar chart. All right. Let's get that up a little bit. So here's another way. We'll simply go to graphs. And then we go to legacy. Those are the old ones. Don't like the 3D. It's too fancy. We'll just do a regular bar graph. Simple. Fine. And our category axis is going to be the different flavors of the yummy, yummy ice cream. Click OK. And that should be identical. There is. And there is one other way. We could go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics. We go to Frequencies. Click in your variable. And it's going to give you a table. And you can click the chart and get a bar chart that goes with it. So there's one, two, three different ways to make a bar graph in SPSS. With that one, you get a table. Nice. But they're all the same. So that's it. MGZ.